Yo, what is up everyone? Hope y'all doing great. So today I'm gonna show you how I level my beats in order to make them hit hard all the time, especially the drums. And yeah, I'm also gonna show you some tips for the melodies to make them more wide and separate them from the drums. So before I move to show you the beat that we're gonna mix and level, I'm gonna show you what I have on my master. The first one is an EQ. I have some low end boosted and some high end, nothing crazy. And the most important is on the last insert, I have this soft clipper. It's the default preset, which what does it doesn't let or beat clip above zero db so yeah you can really go crazy with the drums and honestly you're not gonna clip so first i'm gonna play the melody of the beat it's from my new drop kit which i'm gonna talk about later on and here is how it sounds <laughs> Yeah, that melody sounds powerful it's really nice so the first thing i'm gonna do is route it to a mixer track and the first mistake people do with their melodies is that they have them really high on the mix so what i'm gonna do is set it around minus 12 to minus 9 db by the way these are not any specific numbers these are the ones i use that work for me and yeah that allows me to mix really fast <laughs> Yeah, around minus 12 to minus 9 dB is really nice. It's a nice spot to have the melody. And what I'm gonna do with the melody is add stereo enhancer. And I'm gonna use this phase offset knob right here. I'm gonna tweak it to the left. Yeah, and as you can tell, that made our melody sound wider and that will allow it to be separated from the drums. So right now I'm gonna show you my drum sounds. Now, one thing you can hear is that all these drums are hitting hard already, and that is because they are from my new drum kit. It's the Sauce Drum Kit Volume 5, it's the last volume from all my Sauce collection. And yeah, so far this is my best drum kit. All the drums hit hard already, they are really high quality sounds, and yeah, you can just get it for $5, I have the link down below. And yeah, it's important to have good drum sounds to begin with, because if you start using those free kits, you're just gonna get some really low quality samples, and yeah, the drums are not gonna hit hard, and you're gonna have have to do a lot of processing right here i've done all the processing already so you can just drag and drop those drums and you know just make beats quick and easy so i'm gonna start with the 808 one thing i did with the 808 is i boosted the eq knob i've already shown on a previous vid about how i make my 808s hit hard but in general i have the soft clipper on the master i boost the eq knob and yeah right now i'm gonna route it to a mixer track and yeah i'm just gonna see where i want it to sit Around 0 to 3 dB, it's really nice. Remember that we have the soft clipper, so it sounds like it's clipping, but it actually doesn't. So right now, let's go to the rest of our drums. Let's route them to the mixer, and I'm gonna start with the snare. Right here, minus 3 dB is a really nice spot for the snare. You can go higher if you want, but it's gonna sound really weird on speakers. Yeah, as you can tell, the drum kit hits really hard. I'm also gonna pan the snare just a bit to the left so we don't have it in the middle with the 808. So later on, we have this hi-hat right here. Right here at minus 9 dB, it's really nice, but what I'm also gonna do is add a bit of sauce to it. First of all, I'm gonna start with some chorus. I'm gonna take down the mix knob right here to blend it with the original sound. Yeah, next up, I'm gonna add some distortion. And once again, I'm gonna take down a lot of the mix knob. And yeah, that's it for the hi-hat. I'm gonna pan it a bit to the right. And I'm gonna hear it with the 808 as well. Yeah, so far our drums hit really nice. Now let's go to this open hat. I'm gonna add it around minus 12 dB. Pound it a bit to the left because to the right we have our closed hat. And right now, let's go to a percussion I have. Now, when it comes to perks, I add them around minus 3 to minus 6 dB. It really depends on how they sound all together. And 
yeah honestly that's pretty much it what i do for my drums to hit hard is i just level the melody to minus 12 db or to minus 9 and then what i do is pretty much leveling the rest of the drums to have them where i want them to sit if i had a kick as well i would lower the 808 probably around minus 3 db and i would have the kick hitting hard at 0 or 3 db but yeah thanks to the soft clipper nothing is clipping actually as you can see here on the 808 here it shows us that it's clipping but if i go to the master nothing goes above 0 db and this is the magic of the soft clipper of course this is not the proper way to mix your beats this is not by any means the professional way there's people that actually study this and are getting paid a lot of money to mix and master music this is just a quick way to level your beats and send them to artists or to upload them to your store so yeah that's it about this beat it was a really short one but that's all you have to do to make your drums hit hard i will have my sauce drum kit volume 5 linked down below if you want to copy it check it out yeah i hope you found it useful and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.